G'day Virgo, welcome back to TJ Tarot Down Under. Gonna do the love energy coming towards you as at now. Let's begin. Give me three cards for the love energy coming towards Virgo, please. <clears throat> so this is a general reading. Take what resonates, leave the rest. If it doesn't resonate at all, you can check out your other placements. Or you can check out my playlist and see if something resonates for you there. We're all on different timelines, so clarify card one, please. Cross watches, this could be your energy. If not, it will be somebody else's, so please do keep that in mind, as you may not be the only one thinking about Virgo right now. Clarify card two, please. All the decks are pre-shuffled and are listed below in the description box in the order that I'm using them in case you're interested in what these decks are. Clarify card three, please. Okay, let's keep going. Three more for the love energy coming towards Virgo, please. I know it takes a while to get the, all these cards out, but I like to get them all out before I start the reading because, oh, wrong way, because I don't want the top energy to influence what I'm, when I'm shuffling out the bottom energy. Clarify card one in row two, please, or the second row. So, yeah, I get them all out first. Clarify card two in row two, please. Hope you're all doing well, having a good day, good week, good weekend, all those sorts of things. Let's get these in the order that they went in, which that one flipped before these two jumped. Okay. Clarify card three, please, in row two. Yeah, hope you're all doing well, and don't forget to. Do something nice for yourself, because you deserve it. <laughs> Beautiful Virgos. Okay, let's begin, if I can pick up the cards. All right. Oh, I love this card. Getting to know each other. As you reveal your innermost selves to each other, your bond deepens. And it does. That's right. Get to know each other. Deepen the bond. Get to know all about each other. Ooh, five of pentacles. Two of pentacles. Ace of swords. And the nine of swords. Ooh, someone's worried about getting to know, uh, you getting to know them. Worried they'll be left out in the cold. That you'll be undecided about them. When, if they speak their truth, that you'll run away screaming. <laughs> you'll see them as a nightmare. Well, they see that, yeah, they've got some sort of truth that's very scary. Not good. Will make you undecided about them. And leave them out in the cold. It could be someone who's very broke. Doesn't have much money. May not even have somewhere to live. And they're undecided about telling you that truth. Because, yeah. It's a bit of a nightmare, isn't it? Some sort of truth they're afraid to tell you. Hmm. Something they don't want you to know about them. Hmm. It's a bit of a red flag, but perhaps it is something just as simple as them not having anywhere to live. It is safe for you to love. Open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all. Ooh, with the devil card. Now that's a red flag. It's 
see. Uh... <coughs> mm. Okay. So they know it's safe, that you're safe, that you're not... The, the, you will open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all, but then they're toxic. They're negative passion energy. Look at all the, you know, every rose has its thorns, and look at it cutting into their skin everywhere. That's not very safe, is it? You're safe, but they're going to, they they have thorns and I think this is more about do you even want to get to know them again because I think you've already left them out in the cold they want to balance things out but they have to speak a truth here and they know that's going to cause a nightmare that's a nightmare for them to have to speak their truth because it's it'll just send you running like, no way will I ever be with you, mate. Yeah, so they know it's safe to... That your love is beautiful and safe and open and f beautiful, but they've got some toxicity here. They want to turn this... They don't want safe love. They want the drama, the hurt... The lust, the fire, the drama. Unsafe love. <sighs> Keep an open mind. Your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectations. They want you to. Ch they want to change your mind. Yeah, the wheel of fortune, and the six of wands. Yeah, hoping to change your mind. That enough time has gone by that. They can get your to give them attention again. And that they can be successful in changing your mind. Because I think... I don't think they even want to get to know you. I don't think they want to get to know anyone because they don't want anyone to get to know them. The truth of the nightmare that they are. Yeah, getting to know people is out in the cold. <clears throat> they're not looking for... Well, they're looking for someone to open their heart to them, but they are just, yeah, looking for the... The lust and the passion of a connection, possibly even an energy vampire, love vampire. Taking all your love, but not only giving wild passion in return... And nothing else. No security, as in safe connection. Let go. Yeah, they've been let go. Temperance and the Emperor. See, they've been let go. You've already let this energy go. And they've been patiently waiting for this to come back together so they can control the situation again two major arcana yeah definitely see there's the water and the fire but I'm feeling like they're trying to mix the two but they feel that the water will put out the fire which it will the fire, mm. which is the emotion and the and the passion, but I'm not feeling that will mix with them. They know it doesn't mix. That's why they have to control the situation. I just feel them there. They're just waiting to control you again. How they tried to control you in the past. Yeah. Opportunity, yeah, they're waiting for the right opportunity to pounce, is what I'm hearing. Eight of Swords to trap you. 
The hangman. Yeah, that's what I had in back. Ace of Wands. Hearing hang around like a bad smell. <laughs> Yeah, to trap you. And then only hang around for the passion. Can't leave you waiting. Three of Wands. For the stability, yeah. That's right. They're looking for their opportunity to trap you. In a false trap. Because of course she can just walk out of this. Her hands are free. She can reach up and... Free herself from this. And just walk out of these swords. There's nothing... You know, but yeah, they're looking to their for their opportunity to to trap you, and then just hang around for the passion, and keep you waiting for any sort of stability. Wow. <coughs> we know who this character is, don't we, Virgo? Yes, they've shown up in a lot of your readings. Compromise. Mm. I don't know if they know how to compromise. Oh, look at itchy foot. Scratch it with my other foot. Two of Cups. King of Swords. See, that's not good. Love shouldn't be a compromise. Oh, I'll... I'm hearing it's only words. And they it's like a logical solution. Because the King of Swords is air with air. It's all by the book. The truth, honesty, communication, um, mental thoughts... But I don't see them being truthful. The compromise is that, yeah, there can be love, but I'm hearing cold love. It's going to be cold. It's going to be analytical. It's going to be... Um, it's not going to be felt. It's going to be um, as it's written it should be. I'm hearing if I have to. Wow. Yeah, the love will be cold. Ooh. Yeah, they'll compromise by, yeah, okay, there'll be love. Well, yeah, we'll have love together, but they're not going to feel it. King of Swords doesn't get emotional. Mm. It's all cold hard facts. Ooh, no. No. Well, we already know about this one, don't we? Can we at least be friends at the bottom of the deck? Yeah. <laughs> uh. That's their way of trying to... Uh, that This is how they're going to begin it. Oh, trying to be friendly. But it's just trying to find an opportunity to trap you. To get this passion. Get you to change your mind. And for you to let go so that... Patiently waiting for you to let go so they can take control again. But really, getting to know you, they'd rather leave it out in the cold. If they had a choice, um, the truth is they think that's a nightmare. They don't want to know anything about you. They just want passion with someone. This is a full-on player, player. Oh, it's disgusting. All right. What would this energy like to say to Virgo, please? Because it's not love, is it? No. And they're coming through as the strongest energy, which is a shame. I'm afraid of commitment. Yeah, they are. This is their fear. This is their fear. 
Oh, I'm afraid of commitment. I don't want to feel stuck and trapped in something, but they want to trap you in something. Have you emotionally trapped, mentally trapped? But they, they're they afraid of commitment. Yeah, see, because... Uh, the truth is, they are in a nightmare. And that's why they have this fear of commitment, because... Someone's hurt them. Don't know who. But it's made them fear that. So they will avoid it at all costs. Try and keep it um, just mental. Like, yeah, keep no emotion. Um, no opening of the hearts, just lust. Yeah, no, yeah. Seeking attention. The success of this lust and making you wait for something stable, because it, it's never going to be. They're never going to offer any sort of stability here. But you know that, because this is that same energy that keeps propping up for you, Virgo. Uh, you might be over them, but they're not over you. They haven't moved on from you yet. Sorry. Not much you can do, is there? Well, just keep enjoying your beautiful, peaceful <laughs> single life. <laughs> do what you gotta do, want to do for yourself. Just enjoy it. Why not? Nothing wrong with being single, though. All right, well that's your reading, Virgo. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, all that good stuff. Leave a nice comment, that would be awesome. And thank you so much for watching. I appreciate every single one of you. Thank you. Okay, all the best. Take care. Good luck. And I'll catch you later.